able to keep into their arms. because he refuses to enforce a gun control law uh, because he says his higher oath is to the U.S. Constitution. He's worked in the sheriff's office for 26 years, was elected sheriff of DuPage County, Illinois in 2018. And uh, anyway, let's see, what, are they going to come and arrest this guy? It would not shock me. But, you know, that's how crazy things are getting out there. The Second Amendment is a suicide pact. Gavin Newsom wants to be president. I hope this country, the, the, the movement of the hard oh, left, God. and I hate to be the one to tell this to you, but I saw this coming into the lead up of the 2020 elections, I'm sorry, the 2022 midterms, it was this over exuberance out there, Linda, do we get over exuberant or are we warning people that these races were going to be really, no really tight? I don't, think we, I don't think we get exuberant about much here. There's not much to be exuberant about. Right, and I'm going to go into this whole song and dance later. I'll, I'll try and get into the course of the program today. What needs to be done in terms of voting in this country and how Republicans need to get their act together and Democrats don't run traditional Stupid campaigns. Stupid Tesla driver. Maybe shake hands, do selfies, mm. uh, press avails, uh, town halls, meet the people, uh, or rallies that, yeah, that they're in the camera. ballot harvesting business based on the laws of yeah, their yeah, state. And they're in the negative Tesla, ad business. Where, and where they're, I don't know. That. Out in California, where they have this 20, yeah, you know, nearly $24 billion dollar budget <laughs> deficit out there. Gavin Newsom, is, he's come up with a brilliant idea. By the way, it's a similar idea uh, that other state legislatures like New York are considering. They want, you know, they see what's happening. California to have a net loss of population and it's growing. The same thing is happening dramatically in New York. And people are leaving because they're tired of, you know, shutdowns. They're tired of burdensome regulations insane environmental policies, radical socialism in the state, high taxes on top of everything else, and they're leaving. And the people that tend to leave tend to be more conservative, which makes those states almost impossible to ever think of for a Republican to win the presidency. you got to get to 270 electoral votes. It already has been a situation for many, many elections where Republicans have to thread the needle. And by threading the needle, needle yeah, Florida will win easily now. Same with Ohio. I'm worried about. I got to fight for North Carolina, you know, New Hampshire. I don't know. I don't know if any Republicans. Now we have people leaving Pennsylvania. The people that are leaving tend to be conservative, and Wisconsin, and Michigan, and Indiana, in droves, and they're going to Texas, Florida. You know, south of North Carolina, uh, they're not going to Georgia in this big numbers, and now it's getting even that much harder to win. Some of the people, you know, leave California, but you know they go to Arizona, but they don't seem to. They seem to bring their stupid policies with them. Anyway, out in California, other states are considering it, like New York. Many states actually. They seem to be colluding in how the actual legislation will go. Um, but they now want to have a scheme after you've paid all of your taxes your entire life. If you've done, if you've followed the law, California now wants to make it law that even if you move out of that state, just like New York, they could require you to pay wealth tax. And this may happen as early as next year. Now, if I had faith in the, the judicial system ever passing, but it probably does. That's the scary part. Will the Supreme Court ultimately take the case? There's no guarantee of that. Is a percentage of cases brought to the Supreme Court that they ever touch. Anyway, it would tack on an additional 1.5% tax for Californians that have a, a high net worth. But, you know, the problem is in, in all of this is that we're basically empowering government 
to steal people's money so that they can squander it even further and build bigger deficits on top of it and and transfer that wealth to other people. And don't forget the fact, you know, nationally, even after you paid all your taxes, you drop dead and you, you pay 40% inheritance or a death tax. If you live in New York, it's another 10%. Same with California. And why did they get another bite of the apple? And why are we so stupid to allow all of this to happen? We've got to wake up. I'm telling you, there are way too many people that have bought into this new Green Deal radical social government, you know, socialist BS. America should be funding all these uh, continents and all these countries when we are we can't afford the spending that we have now. Now Democrats are a little bit giddy today because they found the discovery of classified documents at Mike Pence's home. Probably Mike Pence was looking at all the news happenings. And let me take a look. Let's do a deep search. Apparently he's done it and he found a few things. But the one thing that they're going to say is, oh, this lets Joe Biden. It doesn't. It doesn't let Joe Biden off the hook. Playing Pence, Pence's example proves, in part, is something we've all said. With every president, I've laid out that case numerous times. All presidents, by about the handling of classified information. The National Archive Administration is not doing a good job of monitoring it. The way people, when we have a transition out of the White House, is chaotic. Nobody knows who's packing what box, which, where, and how. They're just throwing crap in boxes. Not even looking at the sounds of it. Uh, even Dan Abrams actually admitted, you know, he pointed out that Barack Obama once blurted out classified information to Bob Woodward promptly put it in a book that he was writing at the time. Spotlight, how outrageous. Uh, Merrick Garland and the Biden administration, this is his executive branch, his FBI in the executive branch, his DOJ in the executive branch, and then you have and, and Christopher Ray bragging how they approved the raid at Mar-a-Lago. That would probably be the only thing you can really take out of this. You know, the kind of tactics they send in a SWAT team. Well, Donald Trump wasn't cooperating. Yes, he was. The reason that he was is because the FBI knew where the documents were because FBI had been in the room where they ultimately found them on the raid and had unfettered. And then the only thing they asked, they didn't ask, hey, I think we have, might have classified material here. Do you mind if we take it? Which I'm sure that request would have been granted. Donald Trump has no idea. A box in, in some storage room at Mar a Lago, I can promise you. But they call, they, would you mind putting a padlock? They call back on that door. Fine, they put a padlock on the door. They could have come back and said, we really need to look at that room again. But they didn't want to do it that way. You know, Joe Biden, his homes aren't getting. You know, and this is what we see going on. It, it, it's, it's the dual justice system. It's why Jim Jordan's investigation into the. FBI being politicized and the DOJ weaponized is relevant. You know, files and fury, you know, look at what's happening to Porcarine, Jean-Pierre. I don't think so. I don't think anybody would want to. So, you know, this is, that's what we're going to hear, you know, from the liberal mob for the rest of the, the week. They all do it. Well, we've been doing that for a while, but, but putting that to the side, Joe Biden, how did they get there? How did they do it? I'm so tired, I can barely think. Oh, they're responsible. Joe whispers, like I said, I cut your taxes. No, you didn't, Joe. Anyway, uh, so the Department of Justice now treating the investigations, blah, 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 the same. I'm not believing any of this. Look, I'm the one that's been telling you this document issue, while it's important, is not what is going to hurt Joe Biden. It's just not. Because it's happened too many times on top secret classified material and the massive amount of it that they found on our server or the fact that they believe that the government had real time access to her server. Uh, and the fact that she deleted 33,000 emails with bleach bit and had an aid destroyed devices, blackberries, iPhones and remove SIM cards. 
As long as she didn't get in trouble, nobody's getting in trouble on that. Biden's vulnerability is about his big lie. The big lie. I never, ever once spoke to my son Hunter or any family member about my foreign business dealings. Uh, that we know is a lie. We have photographic evidence. We have meetings. We have dates. We have times. We know who was there. Hunter, Joe, and his foreign business partners. Tony Bobolinski, and he had the money set aside for the big guy, and he actually sat in a meeting there. And this is why the tandem investigations, you have Jim Comer looking into the Biden family syndicate, how much money this family made, was this the biggest influence peddling scandal in history? And then you have Jim Jordan, he'll be on TV tonight, talking about investigating the Department of Justice and the FBI, was the FBI politicized and the DOJ weaponized? I think we already know the answer to those questions, but they're going to do a deep dive into all of it. And where it's really going to get sticky for the Biden family syndicate is when we start following the money. That's where we're going to learn uh, the level of Joe Biden fly, which I believe has been astounding. Oh, the, the garage door was locked. We've got all these pictures of the garage door wide open. You can see the classified documents, you know, right next to the board.
call Gold Co. today. Call 855-815-GOLD. That's 855-815-GOLD. Balance of nature is fruits and vegetables in a capsule. Changing the world at a time. I'm in the medical field. I think when you start out these things, you know, everything from the advertisement sounds so good that you psyched up for it to work. It's working. Anyway, I'm happy. <laughs> Balance of nature has made a big difference. It's just one of the greatest products, and it's just so simple, and it works. Raid, raided Mar-a-Lago. You know, I'm sorry, none of this makes any sense. 